brothers and sisters, um, once more we have come to the throne of God. We give thanks for all his blessings, for all that he has done for us. And we are so glad that God has made it another day for us to meet in his name. Me ano ya tanya kupa se. Tanya kupa ye ye wa siye siye ye. Ama ene a ye kwa si ta ye. Ya tumi. E shi ya wo ni dimu. Se ye mra na ye me tunya na ye. I hope it's time for Bible studies. So you can get your Bible ready. Um, you can put on some quotations and you can ask questions at any time during the studies. And if you have previous questions you want to ask, you can ask. We are talking about life and physical death, beyond, beyond physical death. What will happen after death? And last week we talked about the resurrection. We did talk about the resurrection. And this week we are going to talk about judgment. Judgment. And next we have another kind of the last judgment. We are going to talk about the last judgment. A timu idea to so, in our previous lesson, we saw how the dead are going to be raised to life and how God is going to raise both the just and the unjust. Then the best year. The next thing is judgment. God is going to judge all of us. As to the method that God is going to use to judge all of us, you can understand it. He is the, he is the greatest scientist. But his holy word says that he is going to judge all of us. So, if we pray in one time in, in that last day, no, and you won't be a siasme. Then, when the end of the set, Yakup has some next right and said, I came will be ever. Now, Yakup, the last day, no, will be a in the last day. Now, I said, I went to it. Now, one step, and I, your person, your friend. So we will look at it in this way. Let us all remember that when Jesus comes the last day, judgment is part of the activities he is going to do. And then the Let us turn our Bible. To Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews 9, verse 27 to verse 28. The Hebrew writer, verse 27 to verse 28, is our first quotation. Uh, let us read. He said, it is appointed unto man. It is appointed unto man once to die. And but after this the judgment. Verse 28. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many to those who eagerly wait for him. He will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. So the Bible is saying that everyone who has come into the world, 
you are quite a, you are going to die. You are not going to live forever on this earth. But after that, you will face judgment. So everyone is going to face the judgment. And it's a big thing. And it's our lesson today. And we want to look into it step by step and see how far we can we can go into this lesson today. Uh, the Bible teaches us that the early disciples, when they came, they were teaching more. Whenever they go to teach people, they talk about the judgment of God. A tree, Roman governor, by quite a friend of Philip. Now, by the way, say, Governor, and a tea are seminal. Nothing, the year moon, a chess seminal. Well, as chapter twenty four, verse twenty five, Paul talk about the judgment of God to the governor of Rome, Philip. Let's look at Acts twenty four, verse twenty five. And this is what the Bible says. Now, as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Phyllis was afraid and answered, Go away for now. When I have a convenient time, I will call you. This is Paul who has been in chains now. And he got the opportunity to speak to the governor, Felix, who was ruling the Jewish people at that, at that time from Rome. And Paul expressed the need for self-control, the need for righteousness, and the need for the judgment of God. And when Felix heard that, he became afraid. And he told Paul, please go and come another time. The Bible in the said, Paul, the teaching now, no teaching no. No, my man for him who said, I think will be our home. Now, I brought she as the governor, Felix. I don't know anything come on. Or Trey Felix said, Trey, yeah. And so, yeah, Trey. And so, okay, who said, I think will be here, pa. The Bible in the Governor let his son, the Yemu to train. Now, oh, he ever told me so. But Ketre, Paul said, my power to be caught. Now, that for from, my son, I tell you. So, the judgment is there, is part of the Christian doctrine, and is part of the things we need to learn. Paul did the same thing. Paul, he did the same thing in Acts chapter 17, verse 30 to verse 31, when he met the Greek philosophers, when he met the Athenians, he told them that the times of ignorance God has overlooked, but he is now commanding everyone to come. Because he has set a day for judgment when he is going to judge all men. And he made that statement with the Greek philosophers. So Paul expressed the idea, the view that there is judgment and that everyone is going to face judgment. So when the Hebrew writer said it is appointed unto man once to die and after death judgment, it's sure that the judgment is coming. I think we will know ever. Now, Mama, yes, 
kakra kakra. Let's look at it step by step that we might understand it very, very well. The Bible teaches us in Romans, Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. Let's look at our Bible in Romans 14. As I said, it's a Bible study. You are at liberty to ask questions at any time. These are the things we want to know. So, in, in, in Romans 14, verse 10, let's see what the Bible is telling us. In Romans 14, verse 10, But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you show contempt for your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We are all going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. I say, there is no escape. We are all going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Now, verse 11. For as it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every nation shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. This statement was written, and Paul quoted that to the Romans. And it's more clear that we are all going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. making it very clear. It's making it clear that who is going to be our judge is Jesus Christ. Christ is going to be our judge. And that is why the Bible tells us in John 14 verse 6 I am the way the truth and the light and that no one goes to the Father except through me through me Jesus Christ because he is going to be the judge so every name so when we read in Romans 14 uh, uh, he said when Romans 14 verse 11 he said for it is written as I live says the Lord every name shall bow to me and every tongue to confess who are you to face the judgment of God rendered by Christ when I know who we are then a new pastor say, every name shall confess and this statement was applied to Jesus Christ in the book of Philippians, Philippians chapter 2, verse 19, verse 11, that showing the authority, the power of Christ. Matthew chapter 28, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on the earth. Go therefore into the world and preach the gospel to every creature and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son. All authority. So this shows the authority of Christ, the one we trust, the one we worship, that he is going to be the judge. He said, no power will stand close to him. No power. Because every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. Well, Philippians 2, Philippians 2, verse 9. Therefore, God has exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus Christ every name shall bow of those in heaven and of those on the earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ 
is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is power. We need to me. I need to put it back. Everything in all the creation of God, in heaven, on the earth, under the earth, they will all confess that Jesus Christ is, is King, is Lord to the glory of the Father. So Christ is going to be our judge. And that is why Romans verse 14, verse 10 is saying that we will all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. We all will appear. And Philippians 2 is saying that we every day will bow. It's you and your God. You don't know your brother, you don't know your sister. You don't know your father, you don't know your mother. It's you and your God. Because it's life eternal or on you very much. In your web is a very good question. Our sister has asked a very good question. We want to know whether wherever you go, uh, whatever a man-made church you go, so long as you obey the word of God, you will be okay with the judgment. Now, it comes in a different form. You want yes or no? And I will say no. Now, there is reason for that. When Christ, when Christ was saved, Son, my son, and I'm going to be a When we are there, I saw my mother. In the year, can you say, example now, who my hand? I saw it now. Who call him? The man was example say, Yes, Christ was saved. Obi Obedi made no. Yamonesu. Well, it just me or Bano or Kokuni. Pass on in the say, I super who you know. In the young first super and so on. Two. Pass on in now, Okoyano. Yes, you, Christo say. Okay. Samoba, Samoba, yet worship. It says, I'm here, yeah. Okay, Moma, Mamma, and the Indian. Sa sole no omo elders eni omo preachers ni ha eye mema or eye ma ye fa ono so ento ho enti yesu christo asamne kire se okay ma ye nte type ma ye nte type o ko sa sole no ye nte type ye fa eno so ento ho enti di ye pa kire ni se O question I will be saying a very good question. Because a being yemen and my fiasco say. When Christ said that when one blind man leads another blind man, they will both fall into a pit. Meaning that you need to come to the truth. You need to come through the true church for you to, to understand the, the teaching of Christ. Because there are many false prophets out there. And the dear pastor and said, Oh, said, if you move your ass no more, all my papa is singing for your work Christ. Now, so I'm going to Christ. So, I'm going to Christ. If I'm going to papa, I'm going to meet your music. I'm going to be a feminine prophet. I'm going to be a work Christ. Yes, sir. The question is, I'm going to be a friend because of your deeds. Christ is saying, Unless you believe in the Son of Man and do His will, you will never be saved. Indeed, no matter where you go, no, if the will no, that God has laid down, no, you can't will now and will move peace and will worship will and will this will and a good will. So, so with that, you know, you. You did part, but you didn't qualify. I give you one example, the Mao example, Cornelius, Acts chapter 10. Now, the man was a good man. He was a good man. But then he needs the right church. Cornelius needs the right church. 
The Bible said that he was doing good, and God has seen all the goodness he was doing. But Cornelius needed righteous. So God sent Cornelius to Peter, so that Peter would teach him, so that he would understand the righteous he was in. So Cornelius believed he was baptized and he came into the right there. And he continued to do his good thing. So that is how God will be. So this alone, this alone is not enough. You have to abide by the specific teaching of Jesus Christ. And we, we, we thank all our brothers. They threw light to the teaching that the question our sister asked that can you go in a church and say, so no, there are a lot of false churches going on. You have to abide by the teaching of Christ. Any question before we move forward? I think this has been a help. Okay, so we thank our sister. That was a very nice question. Now, we are going to look at uh, the standard of judgment. The standard of judgment. The standard of judgment. Given the edge we are at it. The standard of judgment. Now, we those in the New Testament is what we have just talked about. When we talk about the New Testament era, it's after the death of Christ. We are going to be judged by the things written in the New Testament. Now, this is our standard of judgment. Now, because after the death of Christ, Everyone has to follow the New Testament pattern of worship and of doing things. The Bible made it very clear. It made it very clear. Romans chapter 2, verse 16. Omu omu wa pan fufre mu no. A pan fufre mu an samu an yedi bebu ya yate. Omu omu wa pan dada ni mu no. Those in the Old Testament, they are going to use the Old Testament to judge them. The Jews who were given the law, they are going to be judged by the things in the law. Now, what about the Gentiles who did not have the law given on my spine? What standard of judgment are they going to do? The Bible is going to tell us that when God created man, he gave man a conscience. Your conscience, when you are doing something good, whether you have a Bible or you don't have, your conscience tells you it's good. When you are doing something bad, whether you have a Bible or you don't have, your conscience tells you that it's bad. So those in the Old Testament who did not get the law that was given to the Jews, God is going to judge them according to the natural conscience that he gave them. Because in the image of God, he created man. He gave you a reasonable conscience. So if you kill a human being, whether you believe in the Bible or not, you know it's wrong. And God is going to use that standard to judge those in the Old Testament who were not Jews. And that is the standard of judgment. Now we are going to go more into that. Uh, let's turn our Bible. Let's turn our Bible. Uh, we want to look at our Bible in um, the book of Romans. Book of Romans. We want to see if we can finish this lesson today so that we continue another thing or two. And uh, Romans chapter uh, 12. Romans chapter 2. Let's look at verse 12. For as many as have sinned without law, will also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law will be judged by the law. For not the healers of the law are judged in the sight of God, but the doers of the law will be justified. Or say, some run on yet with your attack. They are going to be judged by the law that was given to them in the Old Testament on the Mount of Sinai. Now, the Gentiles who were not part of the Jews, 
let's look at what the Bible is saying. Um, verse 14, Romans 2, 14. For when the Gentiles who do not have the law, the Gentiles who do not have the law, by nature do the things in the law, this, although do not have the law, are law unto the spirit. The Bible is a person. I'm a man who follows. I know many people who follow. But I know the almost same thing. Now, when you come and do this shit, you need to know. You need to know. Oh, oh, you have money. 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 Normally, Papa, you go for Emma or credit for that. Normally, you buy this one. You go for this credit one for that. In the normal, no, so I don't go for the share. We buy our share. In the the Jews will get it. The Old Testament will get the new people. The New Testament people also who are ex will also get it. Now, let's. Look at it more in vivid. Revelation chapter 20. Mama Yemi a Bible. Let's open our Bible in Revelation chapter 20. And look at it over here. I think I have some few minutes. Okay. So Revelation chapter 20. Let's look at our Bible. Let's start from verse 12. Revelation 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. He saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. Who are the dead small and who are the dead great? The dead small are you and I. You are not recognized everywhere in the world. Nobody knows you. You, you are not famous. You are not famous. You, you didn't play soccer or you didn't play basketball. So nobody knows you. You didn't invent anything. So you are the dead small. The dead great are those famous people that you heard of. You have read about some of them in history. You have read Alexander the Great. You have read Bacconi. He invented the radio. You, you have read about great uh, 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 scholars, great athletes. You read about people who have invented a lot of things. Electricity. These are the great. You have read about the president. The president of the United States is coming. Everybody is running away. They are the dead great. Whether you are small or whether you are great. At this point in history, you are standing before the throne. You are standing before the throne. And what happened? And before the before God, he said before God, and books were open. God is going to make it like a cinema for you. Now go for history, no wine history, no actual. Obani awi e ni na obeyi ni ni na chira. O papa awi e no obeyi a chira. They were standing before God, and books were open. The Old Testament book is open for the people in the Old Testament. The New Testament book is open. Books were open, and another book was open, which is the Book of Life. The Book of Life that everyone. Who is born into the world? God registered his name. That is the book of life. The book of life. Your name is registered. Obi ever won a two formula or you nipa. Into nyako pan register. Into uku nipa. What kum obi a nyako pan register? If you kill someone, you have killed somebody. God has registered. Okay, so. Another book is Book of Life. 
And the day were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. They were judged according to the things written in the books. They were judged according to the things written in the books. Christ said, sleep, did you sleep? Christ said, wake up, did you wake up? Christ said, forgive. Did you forgive your wife? Did you forgive your husband? A very whom? It will, be, it will be a terrible thing on that day. He said, forgive. Matthew 6. Teach us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Forgive us our trespasses. Yes, as we forgive those who trespass against us. On the judgment day, where you divorce your wife, yes, yes, Jesus, I did that because she was very, very disobedient to me. Christ asks you, did you remember my statement for this? You stand there. You ran away from your husband because of something small. You have sworn that you will never forgive your husband. On the judgment day, Christ asks you, did you read Matthew, Matthew chapter 6? He said, yes. I read Matthew. What does he say? Forgive. Were you able to forgive? He said, no. There you are. Forgive. Because he said, you are going to be judged according to those things written in the book. Unless a man is born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Nicodemus asked, how can I be born again? Unless you are baptized, you cannot enter. On the judgment day, you did very good. You live a good life, but you didn't allow yourself to be baptized. Christ asks you, because he said, you are being judged according to those things. Let me read it again. And the dead were judged according to the things which are written in the books. So Christ asks you again. Yes, Christ will be sad with you. Did you hear somebody telling you, you need to be baptized? He said, oh yes. Were you baptized? He said, no. Here you are. Christ said, Seek the true church. There are a lot of false prophets. Did you make an effort to look for the true church? You went to a false prophet's church. They squandered your money. They told you bad things. And where you are. The judgment is not a small thing. The judgment is going to be a great thing. The judgment is coming, my brother and my sister. He said, we are going to be judged even by, <laughs> by, by what we think. Let me give you that quotation. Matthew 12, 36 to verse 37. Judgment, you know. So when Christ said, forgive us our trespasses, he means business because God should forgive you in order for you to pass this step. If God wants to hold it hard, none of us, none of us will pass this step. God to forgive. By you, when God forgives you, he expects you to forgive your brother and your sister, your child, your children, your wife and your husband. They are all inclusive in the forgiveness. If we will do that, we will fight very well. Look at Matthew. 12, verse 36. And, uh, and Matthew 12, verse 36. But I said to you that every idle word men speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. Eh? I say, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, as someone, who can secret move? Who can secret move? All those secret things, the gossip you gossip, 
He said, on the judgment day, they will reveal it to you like a video. I said, I tell you, I said, 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 I the secret of my heart will be judged. He will judge you on the last day. He said, either way, the things you have spoken, as a papa, Bonia Waka, Achira Unkwada, Bonia Waka, Achira Uku, Bonia Waka, Achira Uju, Bonia Waka, Achira Uju, Achira Uju, I gossip, as someone was gossiping, in all those gossip and everything, Will be revealed to you like a video on the judgment day. There is a judgment coming. We have to back up. We have to back up. Otherwise, we are going to fail. So, yes, sir, the Kakra, the issue of movement, Niji, the Yakupa and Huni and Mopa, the movie are in the people. Because I said, I said, yeah, what can you be? Yeah, true. Nakupa will be in so I put it, yeah, true. I'm a one who, he's going to reveal it, even at the bad things you have done, my brothers and my sisters, where the bad people will go, where the righteous people will go, and where will be the angels and the devil, where the devil and the angels will go. And then we will also look at where will be Hades, after the people have been moved out of Hades. And he found a Hades, Yabeka, Yabeka, and I am where will Hades be? So get ready for next week. But today is about the judgment. And the judgment is on my head, it's on your head. It's on everybody's head. It's on our head. Because we have wrong God. And yes, you into me and cause I have no one. But see, I send me a yakano. Take me my candy. Oh, so I can. Yeah, the day you begin in in fit a video, and you are trying. You are going to every other word you have spoken will be revealed on the judgment day. Why do you stand? Left or right? Now we have things to talk about. Some things we can do. Matthew 25, we'll talk about it next week. But it's too good when God will be close to us and other things. 